Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing amazingly. If you couldn't tell, I'm at my nan's at the moment, which is in the village, like in the village village. So Wi-Fi, nope, service, mm -mm. And although I love being away from socials, I also get a little bit bored, okay? I forgot my book at home, which is not the smartest thing. So I thought we could do a little bit of a get ready with me to go nowhere since I have nothing else to do. I don't play around with makeup, I don't use bright colours. I'm a very basic and very simple girl, okay? I'm plain Jane. But I kinda like that. I don't I don't find anything wrong with that. But before we get started, I just wanted to take a quick second to talk to you guys about Skillshare, who's kindly sponsoring today's video. You've probably heard me talk about Skillshare before because I've been working with them for quite a while and I absolutely love them. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of creative and inspiring classes on a whole wide range of topics such as graphic design, photography, productivity, and even self-care. The Skillshare class I am currently watching and loving is called The Ultimate Self-Care Playbook Discover and Nurture Your Scented Self by Jonathan Van Ness. I absolutely love this class because the message it gives is just so important about how the relationship we have with ourselves is probably the most important one and we all need some me time, some self-care time, even if it is just playing around with some makeup, you know in your spare time, we love some self-care The first 1,000 of you to click the link in the description will get a free one month trial of Skillshare premium so make sure you go and check that out and once again thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and with that being said let's get ready I took a shower this morning at my nan's and for some reason the water here has made my hair so smooth and silky like what is going on even though I have like quite a few bits of makeup I basically use like the same five items every single day okay so first off we're gonna go in with some moisturizer because you already know your girl's got a really dry skin I literally just use any moisturizer I have on hand and even though I do love skincare I'm not that fast like I'm not a skincare pro you know what I mean so I wouldn't take any advice from me <laughs> next I'm gonna go in with some primer this whole summer holiday I have been loving the elf dew primer I have been using this almost every single day because it's so nice it gives you such a nice glow just rub that into my fingers and then just dab that right on Oh my goodness, can you see that already? Look, I'm already glowing. And I don't have like high cheekbones or like a defined facial shape, but when I do this on like the high points of my cheekbones, it just makes it pop. It just makes it look amazing. Once my primer is on, I just jump straight into my eyebrows. I don't know why, but I just do. <laughs> in terms of brows, I've always just stuck to the same product since I was in like year seven. I'm, I'm serious. I've always loved it so much. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and I go for the shade Ebony which is just about dark enough for my eyebrows. I've been meaning to try out like the brow wiz and everything and I know a lot of people have been loving Refi Beauty's eyebrow products as well but I've just not had the chance to get my hands on it yet so when I do I will try it out and I'll let you know. I don't know if you can see but I don't fill in my whole eyebrow because up until until like this point here it's pretty full so I just fill in the rest to like the very end and that also makes it look more natural I'm probably going to say the word natural about a hundred times today so don't take a shot every time I say it please just don't <laughs> I need this water. I'm actually looking into my mom's old mirror. Like this mirror that I'm looking into right here on the wall that you can't see is probably like older than 30 years. It's like twice my age. That's crazy. Honestly, even when I'm at home, like when I get bored, I literally just sit in front of my wardrobe mirror and I just play around with some makeup. I'm pretty sure most people do that though, no? Either that or just I start like singing karaoke in my room all alone. But it's fun! Okay, I probably shouldn't do that while I'm trying to fill in my eyebrows. I never realised how much I use my eyebrows when I talk. Like, I put a lot of facial expressions. See? Do you see that there? Then I'm going to go in with some concealer to just clean up around the eyebrows. We're going with a classic, so it's the Maybelline Fit Me in shade 20. 
Even though my face looks so much more paler than the rest of my body, my face does have a little bit of a tan right now. And so usually I do use the Maybelline Fit Me, but whilst I'm on vacation, I have been trying out the e.l.f. Brightening Concealer in the shade Medium 30W. And it's so fun because it's got like a little clicky thing and the product comes out right away. Remember with concealer, less is more. I literally just dab a little bit right here onto my dark circles. I'm pretty sure they're like 100% genetic because I have fixed up my sleeping schedule I drink plenty of water and I'm pretty sure my diet isn't the problem either so I'm assuming the dark circles are because of genetics but oh well who cares they don't look that bad I feel like we are always so critical of like ourselves but trust me no one is as critical as you are of yourself. Time for some tinted moisturizer. I never really use foundation because I just find it too heavy for me. Even the multiple lightweight foundations that I've tried, I just feel like they're not for me. So I like to stick to tinted moisturizer. Currently have been loving the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. I know it says full coverage, but it really isn't. So I've really been enjoying this and I don't put it everywhere on my face. I am back in my beauty blender phase. I have phases. Sometimes I like to use a brush, sometimes I like to use my hands and other times I like to use a damp beauty blender. I literally just take that on my beauty blender and I only apply it to like the lower section of my face so that it kind of blends into my neck. I don't put it on my forehead because my forehead is quite tan compared to the rest of my face anyway and I don't put it in like the middle section because I put concealer on so what's the point? I've got two, oh, three beauty spots. I've got quite a lot of beauty spots, you know. It looks much more orange in the viewfinder than it is in real life, don't worry. But now, time for some contouring because the girl needs some definition. This is just a contour stick I picked up from here and I've been loving it. It's by Flora. I haven't actually been able to find this in the UK, but any odd cream contour should do. I literally just take it onto my little stippling brush and just dab that into my cheek. down the sides of my temples and then of course a little bit underneath my chinny chin chin I had that double chin and also a little bit onto my nose and then lastly a little onto my eyelids I don't know why I do this either see you can use this for literally everything you've got some cheek contour a little bit of eyeshadow nose contour how perfect just have the classic hula bronzer with me today i just like to add that on with my big fluffy brush we need some color now so time for some blush i'm going to go in with the elf blush in shade lychee do you guys like the fruit lychee is it lychee or lychee lychee i'm pretty sure it's lychee my dad, when I was younger, he would buy it in like boxes, so we'd have like a whole box in one go. But I haven't had it in such a long time. I just like to put that all along my cheek and my nose. Time for my favourite part, which is mascara. Oh my god, I love mascara so much. If I could choose one makeup item that I could not live without, it would be mascara. I always hype about my favourite mascara, which is the L'Oreal Telescopic one. This is the silver bottle. I love, love, love this. Like this, this I just love. I try loads of different mascaras all the time, but I always end up coming back to my absolute fave. That is what the bristles look like. It just applies so easily. Okay, now how am I supposed to apply this without pulling your face? Look, you tell me. And that, my friends, is only one layer. Please don't forget your bottom lashes. I feel like your bottom lashes just completes the whole look. Most of our makeup is almost done. Now time for some lips. I personally am not the biggest lipstick fan. I feel like when I put lipstick on, my lips just look too big for my face. Is that just me? Is it just because I'm not used to lipstick? I don't know. But that's why I just tend to stick to my lip liner and some classic lip gloss. I told you guys I'm a basic plain Jane. I'm going to go in with the Rimmel lip liner in Cappuccino. I would so show you the way my lip liner looks but honestly everything has rubbed off and it kind of looks manky right now so you don't want to see and then i just like to blend that out with my finger for some lip gloss i'm just going to go in with the elf plumping gloss in mocha whoever created plumping glosses you're a genius 
she's tingling i love that tingling feeling i don't know why i think i'm a little bit of a weirdo but i do love it and we are on our last step which is highlighter going to go in with the elf glow stick and i don't like to put that straight onto my face i like to just rub that onto my fingers and trust me be generous rub that in between my fingers and then just tap that on a little onto my nose And ta-da, we are done. That is it, that is my daily makeup routine. Very simple, very basic, that's how I like to keep it. Not my go-to for college, for going out. I just love how simple and easy it is. I will have all the products I use down in the description box below in case you do wanna check it out. And if you guys have made it this far, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys soon in a new video. Bye.